Hello everybody, Julian here. I'm back with another episode of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well and you're fine. It's actually a very warm day here in Karlsruhe. We have almost 40 degrees, I think, but uh, let's move on. First of all, we want to say a big thank you because we have reached 400,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel and it's an amazing number. So thank you very much. And we have for you a very special concert today in three hours. Annabel Montesinos, for me a jewel of the classical guitar world, has recorded amazing concert at Zika's Guitars and you can watch it in three hours on our YouTube channel. And you can find the video description, sorry, you can find the link in the video description down below. And tomorrow we will publish behind the scenes of the recordings on our channel. So it's gonna be a very interesting and funny video. You will see a lot of bloopers and uh, we thought it might be very interesting for you to see yeah, what happens during a recording. And now let's jump into the guitars of this week because we have eight great, eight great guitars. The first guitar of this week is a truly beautiful guitar made by Sebastian Stenzel. Sebastian Stenzel is a well-known German guitar luthier with a stunning craftsmanship. And you can see it and feel it in this guitar. This is from 2022. It's a brand new guitar and it has a traditional uh, fan bracing. It has the number 237 and we have a spruce top and quilted maple back and sides. And Sebastian Stenzel said that for him, for his imagination and the idea of the sound, this is almost the perfect sounding guitar. Let's hear what he had to say about this guitar. What is special is that I find it's a mere perfect expression of, of the sound um, I, I want to, to build. I, I see my guitars as uh, sound sculptures more than anything else. The most important property of any guitar I make for me is to have a maximum malleability of the sound that uh, the musician can easily translate his musical ideas into, into the music. Oh my god, you have such a great sustain, it doesn't stop, and the tone is so sweet and beautiful. of the colors are just amazing, amazing response. You can also stay in one area and just move and turn your finger just a little bit and you will get a different sound.
it's a such a well balanced guitar with beautiful colors and tone Well, congrats to Sebastian Stenzel for such a great guitar. Let's move to the next one. The next guitar is made by the Italian guitar luthier Andrea Macellan. And this is a Roma Expo Guitars limited edition. It has the number 70. It has a traditional fan bracing. And, but it's a very beautiful one. We have a spruce top and Pau Ferro back and sides. It has also a great sustain, wow! And it's a very powerful guitar. You can feel the whole vibration and the resonance in your body. But it's quite powerful. So a very traditional sound, but powerful guitar. Actually, the sustain on the, of the guitar is on every string and in every position very long. Let's move to the next one. This beautiful guitar is made by Paulino Benabe. This is a brand new guitar. This model is called Collection. And it's an amazing guitar. It's truly beautiful. We have a 
spruce top and bird's eye maple back and sides. Let's jump straight into the sound of this guitar. For me, this is one of the best Paulino Benabe guitars I personally have ever played. You have such a sweet and beautiful tone. It's very balanced, so you feel very comfortable to play on this guitar. And the tone is so sweet. I mean, it's very typical for the guitars of Paulino Benabe, but this one is something else. Well, please let me know what do you think about this guitar. I think it sounds amazing. This guitar is made by Falko Römisch. He is a German guitar luthier and his father, Karl-Heinz Römisch, is a very well-known German guitar luthier. I heard that name quite a lot. This guitar is a brand new one from 2022 and it's very light, first of all. We have a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. I like the color of the wood, really. But let's see how it sounds. Beautiful. It's a very airy sounding guitar and the response of the guitar is very fast.
somehow it sounds for me a little bit like a double tap guitar. A very fast response and airy sound. Let's move to the Karl Heinz Römich guitar. So the father of this son, the father of this son. This beautiful guitar is made by the well-known German guitar luthier Karl Heinz Römich. This guitar is from 2022. We have a spruce top with a traditional fan bracing and Indian rosewood back and sides. And I mean, the back and sides actually look very similar to the guitar of Falco Römisch, the son of Karl-Heinz Römisch. And yeah, it's also very light with a very fine finishing and I'm very curious about the sound. beautiful sounding guitar. It's a bit more sweet than the Falco Römisch guitar because of course the guitar has a spruce top so it sounds a bit more bright and very balanced in a lot of uh, different positions and the response is good, the tone colors What a guitar, beautiful. Let's move to the next one. The next guitar is made by Matthias Tilsa. Matthias Tilsa is a guitar luthier from Austria. Actually, I, I think this is the first time that I'm playing or trying a, a classical guitar made by an Austrian guitar luthier. So I'm very curious about the sound and the guitar. This is a brand new guitar from 2022 and we have a spruce top and Madagascar rosewood back and sides. It's a very beautiful guitar. Let's see how it sounds.
This guitar has a very good tone projection. You have the feeling that the tones can go a long distance. This beautiful guitar is made by Stephen Hill from Spain and this is a very light and beautiful guitar. We have a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides and this guitar has a shorter scale, it has a 64 centimeter scale. Let's move to the last guitar of this week. And the last guitar of this week is made by Jan Schneider from Czech Republic. This is a double top model. We have an arm set here, we have cedar top and we have Indian rosewood back and sides. And this guitar has a shorter scale. It has a 64 centimeter scale. And it's actually very light. 
Let's see how it sounds. Very good sustain, it's still ringing. Wow. So the most obvious thing of this guitar is the sustain. It has a very long tone. I also see a elevated fingerboard. I forgot to say that. And yeah, please let me know what's your opinion about this guitar and also the other guitars. I think they were quite different. Only the first three guitars sounded for me a little bit similar. And uh, yeah, so we come to the end of the weekly guitar meeting for this week. And please don't forget to watch the concert premiere of Annabelle Montesinos today at 4 p.m. German time. You will definitely enjoy it. And the behind the scenes, which will come tomorrow at 4 p.m. Take care, stay safe and healthy. See you next week. Bye.